Good morning from Good morning. Sydney. <laughs> so today we're going to the Blue Mountains. I'm we are, so excited. We are bossing it to the train station. We're like running right down now. the road. It's so early. Um, yeah, we're heading to Central Train Station to get the two-hour train to Katoomba. We're going to go see some. Of the, I know. We're going to see some of the main sites. We're going to do some walking, some hiking, and yeah, I am so excited to get out of the city. See it. Seriously, it's so cold. <laughs> like, I've got hoodie, coat, this is crazy. I'm, I'm not wearing enough. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get used to this cold weather. <laughs> okay, so we're here at Katumba waiting to get the public bus. We missed the other one by like 10 seconds. Oh, so annoying. So okay. annoying. We're going to jump on the 686 down to Echo Point, which is the famous viewpoint of the Three Sisters. I can't wait. It's absolutely freezing up here. It is a bit colder. I really feel the difference. <laughs> but yeah, can't wait to see the views. And then after that, where are we going? Then we're going to head to Waterfall, beginning with W. Oh, Waterfall beginning with W. There you go. <laughs> we'll write it down. Wentworth. Always forget names. Wentworth Falls. Wentworth Falls. That's so, yeah, the one. that's the second stop. But <laughs> kind of running around, trying to make sure we fit as much in as we can. <laughs> but the bus should be in about five, ten minutes. It turns out that bus ride was like five minutes. Not even that. <laughs> and 25p. Yeah. We thought it was a lot further than it was. We thought it was going to be like 40 minutes or something. <laughs> like, yeah, that was very... I don't know why we thought that. It was misleading on Google. Anyway, we are here. We've made it to Echo Point and it looks incredible. It really, really reminds me of the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. Like, it looks epic, as you're going to see in a second. <laughs> and now we're going to actually walk towards the three sisters and you can go on to a bridge across to the first one uh, so I think it's 20 minutes return so we're going to go check that out really quickly back to Katumba train station because we've got to get the train to Wentworth Falls because um, there isn't a bus is there? I think there is I don't know why she said there wasn't but I yeah. we saw one. We're taking information from the well the clerk I guess the, the lady at the, well, the, the information, information centre. Yeah <laughs> but we get to the train station and there's like a 40 minute wait. It's um, only one an hour I yeah. think and it's the one that goes back to Sydney but it stops at Wentworth Falls which I think is probably like 10 minutes on the train but we're having to wait 45 minutes for it yeah but we've got loads of time today like it's quarter to 12 now and this is like we're gonna have a good few hours exploring this area mm -hmm. so yeah not really in a rush <laughs> and uh yeah we're gonna go to Wentworth Falls we're gonna do a couple hikes over there see the waterfalls the Charles Darwin and, uh, walk. yeah the Charles Darwin walk and we might not go down to Wentworth Falls because I think that's a really hard trek back up yeah we'll see yeah. We'll make our mind up on that. <laughs> okay, so the train was like 10 minutes, cost 50 cents each, so that's like 30p. Yeah, <laughs> so bargain. cheap. And all you've got to do is follow the brown signs. Like it's a left and then a right. But if you just literally just follow the brown signs, mm -hmm. let's say Darwin's Walk, it is so easy. Yeah, it's really and it's so quiet oh like, it's like no tourists here yet <laughs> like a really touristy part and so far it seems super quiet and a bit more kind of it's more our know, pace more our pace <laughs> yeah we, we like to be by ourselves yeah i can see a charles darwin walk over there so yeah it's so easily signposted 
yeah, no stress. You don't have to worry about finding loads of directions and stuff. It's easy. Yeah, and I think it's about an hour. The lady at the desk said a maximum of an hour. So let's see if we can beat that. Yeah, so an hour is like for everyone, like young, elderly. And, uh, so we should do it maybe 45. If we do it in an hour, then I'll be disappointed in us. <laughs> yeah, I am hungry though, so I'm going to be slower. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start our walk just now. just went to a viewpoint, I think it was called Jameson Lookout or something, that was amazing and now we're making our way down and I can't get over how gorgeous this is. This path is ridiculous. It's just unbelievable. I mean look at this, it's amazing. <laughs> oh. But yeah we're not going to go all the way down because it's quite a challenge to come back up and we're really hungry so we're going to go a little bit further, get some more pictures and then yeah maybe stop for some lunch and keep going but this is amazing <laughs> we found it <laughs> finally got our picnic spot oh we do and what is the time i feel like we've been walking for ages two o'clock we've been walking a long time oh, it's <laughs> And now we're on another trek, <laughs> heading down for some more lookouts. But we're heading towards kind of like cafes and stuff now, so it's kind of our exit route. Um, well, we're making our way, making slowly our way back. back. Yeah, <laughs> but there's so much to see, so I'm just making sure I don't fall over. Um, and yeah, the lookouts are crazy. Like there's benches set up like this, with views of the mountain and waterfalls. It's just insane. It's amazing. I feel so much better after lunch. I can't yeah. believe how hungry we were getting. <laughs> and it's so easy. Like, it's so easy laid out, isn't it? The yeah, I don't everywhere. want to say that too soon because we could still get lost. We normally do that. <laughs> but yeah, we've done like 13,000 steps already and we've got, yeah, a good couple hours of hiking still. Yeah, it's cool. I and love the, it though. The light is getting so nice as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited for the last little bit. Always promising when you find a sign. Love it. So yeah, super easy, over cliff track. We're heading to Conservation Hut Cafe. But saying that, we do actually want to head to Empress Falls first. We don't want to miss out on that waterfall. But it's suddenly like, we've gone down quite a lot in like 10 and it's minutes. so dark. And it's suddenly a lot darker and a lot colder. So I'm going to walk quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, at least you know we're going the right way. Yes. I just, I like having the reassurance. <laughs> 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 it's just a uh, sheer drop down there into the abyss. Don't know what you're worried about. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, now we've seen some awesome stuff today, but I think this is my favourite viewpoint of the whole day. Like, I think it's main not mainly but partly because there's nobody else around it is so quiet and the lighting in the valley is just ridiculous the lighting's crazy it is so gorgeous and peaceful and it's oh 
I'm just in love with it. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Hundreds of steps to get down here, but there is nobody else here, and it is so, so beautiful. So we're here at the falls. We made it, and oh, man, is it worth the trek? Uh huh. We're in like this little cave. It's so dark, and like it feels really like mystical. It feels like we could be in a movie. Definitely. It definitely feels like a movie. I feel like I'm in a scene from Tomb Raider or something. Uh huh. No, it's really cool. And now I'm going to go crazy taking photos. <laughs> okay, so now we're freezing and we're going to work our way back up. <laughs> yeah, I think it should be about half an hour. Oh, that's a big puddle. Um, but half an hour to the little cafe and then it's about 20 minutes to the train. So yeah. Yeah, so nearly done, it's four o'clock, so we should be able to get the half five, no problem. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, we made it to the top. That was like a half an hour Stairmaster session. It was straight up for half an hour. But yeah, we've done like 18,000 steps. End of hiking today. Uh-huh. That was so good though, such a good day. Amazing, really, really, really amazing. One of really my favourite days in a long time. Yeah, so now we're just going to walk about 20 minutes to the train, two hour train, 20 minutes to our apartment <laughs> and get a big pizza. <laughs> I think that's what's oh, left for the day. Definitely, for sure. <laughs> but yeah, for everything, how we've done everything today and what we've done and how to do it, I'm going to put it all in a blog post. So if you didn't know already, we do do a blog as well, yeah. where we kind of say how we do things in a bit more detail than what's in the videos. Yeah, it's more information and, that we can uh, give. Yeah, so check it out here. Yeah, and always on Instagram, we put up with the new blogs out. And that's kind of like more up to date because these videos are always like two to four weeks like backed up. Mm -hmm. So um, they're <laughs> never live. So if you want to see what we're doing all the time, a bit more information live, Instagram is the place yeah, to go. which is here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, on that note, we will say good night and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. Afterwards. What the heck is that? <laughs> no idea. Bit of a big step. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dark. Basically in a cave. We are in a cave. When did that happen? <laughs>